All right, so this is really hilarious. So basically, this feels like a series that I'm doing, essentially, which is essentially the series of hosts on MSNBC and CNN who are losing their mind because Bernie Sanders has demolished in the Nevada caucus by 26 points. And this has been the epiphany in their heads that, holy smokes, Bernie Sanders has a real movement behind him, and wow, it's actually going to be tough to stop him. Now, really quickly, before we jump into that, I do want to let you guys know I'm over on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the progressive voice. Make sure to go over there and check it out. The link is in the description box. Uh, if you go there and become a patron, you can get patron-only content as well as early access to certain videos. And then also, you're, of course, supporting the show. So link is down below in the description box. Be sure to check it out. This guy that you see here is actually a guy who we've done a video on before. And so this was a poll, the Des Moines Register poll that showed Bernie Sanders leading. This guy was like, no, I don't believe it. He didn't even provide any evidence or any argumentation. He was like, no, uh-uh, no. And he didn't provide anything. He was like, no way, I don't believe it. Now let's hear what he has to say right now. And so I would like to say to our current Democratic leaders in the country, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and anyone else, Mr. Clyburn is going to announce his, uh, his endorsement on Wednesday. It's time for y'all to speak up. It's time for our leaders that we've elected over and over again, that are the, 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 the 30,000 foot leaders of the Democratic Party, to speak up. Because if you don't speak up now, then we're going to have Bernie Sanders as our nominee, and that is a disaster for the country. A major disaster for the country, and it will. And, and the infighting that's happening within this family right now, the Democratic family, is going to get worse and worse and worse. The reckoning is is coming, and it's time for our former party leaders, who are the titular leaders of our party, to speak up and speak out and start endorsing. They got to do it now. <laughs> this is really hilarious stuff. And then here, here's another one. Let's check this one out too. Bernie Sanders is an actual socialist, a democratic socialist. That does not play well here. People don't like it. And guess where else they don't like it? They don't like it in the Super, uh, Super Tuesday states. That's a dirty word in this country. And if you don't believe me, look at the latest polling. Something like 61% of Americans won't vote for you if you're, quote, a socialist. So come to South Carolina, and we're going to show you. We're probably not going to vote for a socialist. That's really hilarious because that poll, same poll had him lead, leading in that poll in the primary. And then also he's leading all of the Super Tuesday states except for like, I think Alabama or like one of those, you know, one of those tiny southern states, basically. He's winning like the big states, you know, Texas, California. He's leading in those. He's definitely going to take California by a massive margin. He's going to take Texas as well. And so the idea that he's not doing well in the Super Tuesday states or even South Carolina for that matter. The dude is down in aggregate numbers by like two points or something like that. So he's actually really, really close, if not possibly maybe in a slight lead or something like that or a slight deficit. But again, dude, people don't vote based on labels. They vote, vote based on policies or what they believe uh, are, are policies. And that's why Bernie Sanders, despite calling himself a democratic socialist, is performing so well. And so this whole thing of like, oh, socialism is a dirty word. Oh, it's going to stop his campaign. Dude, you've literally been saying that forever now. I mean, the amount of attacks that have come against Bernie of, oh, he's a communist. He loves Fidel, Fidel Castro. He loves uh, the Sandinistas in Nicaragua. He hates the Reagan-backed death squads called the Contras who are trying to take down the socialists. Like, yeah, that's a good thing, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? How is that a bad thing? It's hilarious. It's super hilarious to watch. And so this this guy is panicking, but I have to tell you, bro, you're shit out of luck, dude, because those people you called your 30,000 foot leaders, they ain't doing ish, bro. You think Barack Hussein Obama is going to come out and endorse Joe Biden in the race? He literally told Joe not to run for president, okay? And he's already said he's not going to come out. And also Bernie's on the phone with the guy. And also, I just covered a story of him his former campaign manager, who he's really close with, I've seen a lot of pictures with the guy and him, the Plouffe guy, Plouffe, Plouffe, I forget, don't know how to say his name. He just came on, he defended Bernie Sanders. Like, dude, the idea of stealing a nomination from Bernie, bar, bar some crazy uh, Trump versus Sanders uh, differences in election numbers, you'd have to be insane to have an idea of stealing the nomination from Bernie Sanders. Are you crazy? And so if you think that I'm, I'm thinking that he must have had some, at least some guidance or some acceptance from Barack Obama before going on and saying that. And so if you think Obama's going to do anything, you're wrong. If you think Pelosi's going to do anything, you're wrong. Any of these people, I mean, Pelosi, Schumer, none, they're not going to do anything, dude. No, nope. And so 
he's trying he's trying to call for his parents he's trying to call like come on like it's so funny dude but watching them just have this meltdown and just this panic it just feels so good especially a guy like this who's clearly an insider he's in a bubble he's a loser you know it just feels so good i mean oh my god the liberal tears just taste so darn good man